All right, we're at the rear end of the BMW M5. It's a 2000, it's an E39 M5. Now, here's the dilemma I have with rear end diff fluid. One source says it should be the 75 W140. Another says it should be the 75 W90. So I can't get a straight answer. Dealership says it's the 140. And uh, this is the fill right up here. This is the drain. I've loosened both of them. It takes a 14 millimeter Allen. One of the challenges is that you see how the exhaust pipe gets in the way. So I just inserted this, took a 14 millimeter and loosened it. So we're all good. We'll get it done. I will re take out the upper one because I, I always like to check what the fluid level is. Now this car appears to have been beautifully taken care of. Oh, and it's got a nice little drip, which is perfect. We're good. And notice how it has this little green seal on the perimeter of the plug. Let's see if I can get it. So it doesn't have the gasket. And once again, we'll do the thing I always do, which is I try to measure the fluid that I'm bringing out. Give me a rough idea how much I have to pump back in. And this is GL5, remember that, GL5. You'll never go wrong with GL5, even if you have something that isn't limited slip. Oh God, it looks like the fluid I had before. Man, eh, but it's actually the other one was GL4 for the training. And, uh, but so you measure the amount of fluid. It looks like it's good. Uh, the impression I get from this car, having had it for a while, is that it was really well taken care of. Someone loved this car. Apparently it was a Washington State car, the Western half, no salt, no snow to speak of. And it, the, at least the story is that it was owned by a Southwest Airlines pilot who clearly uh, loved it. It was kept indoors. You don't see any, it was kept in a garage. So it was nicely taken care of. And we're looking at, oh, 1250 so far. So it might take, 1250 to one and a half liters. I will let it drain. I can't tell you by looking at it whether it's 140 or 90 weight. Um, I've often thought the 140 might be if I'm driving on a hot day at 120 miles an hour and the rear diff is really hot. Then I could see 140. But you know, it's a, it's a toy. It might get driven 20, 30, 40 miles. It's not being taken on the track. So I'm a little perplexed. Is it 90 weight or 140? I don't know. Uh, does it matter that much? Eh, not sure. Uh, it is a limited slip, so I'm using GL5. So it's all good. And as I look around, everything looks great. Uh, it is exactly what it appears to be, a nicely taken care of car that has not seen salt or snow. So I'll be back. Oh, I just thought you see how wonderful it is. I think it's March 21st, yes. <clears throat> of course we got snow. We had about a week worth of warm weather which got everybody spoiled. But it is beautiful. It's not particularly heavy. It's very fine snow. I don't see any uh, branches falling down on any of the trees, but then we had some snow storms earlier this year that <laughs> trim the trees, as they say. But it's quite nice. It's going to get up in the 30s and 40s next week with some rain. So all of this will be gone. Unfortunately, that means there's salt on the road, which means I can't drive any of the cool cars that are salt-free cars until we've had considerable rain. But life goes on. Let's get back to the car. All right, reinserted this plug, which like I said, has a green rubber gasket on the backside, meaning it's reusable. 
Uh, I could not torque it, but apparently it's 33 foot pounds for the torque spec. You'll have to confirm that for yourself. And then I put in, oh, about 1,200, 1,300 cc's of fluid in here. And I use the 75W140 GL5 full synthetic. And it has the limited slip differential uh, lubricant in it. And then I'm just gonna let this drip. I will check the level with my finger. I'll just slide it in like this, make sure it's right at the opening, which I suspect it will be. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, which I should mention with all fluids like this, the vehicle should be level. Don't have it lifted in the front or back. I know I have the advantage of a lift. Sorry about that. I work on a lot of cars and not having a lift is a bit of a nightmare as those who don't have a lift know. But I hope this helps somebody. Hope you're having fun. Hope life is treating you well. Love you all. Peace out.